Okay, so before we get into Pet Fest, I wanted to give a huge thank you to our sponsors. It would not be possible without them. So this year's sponsors are Pangea, Flip Aquatics, Elite Paw Spa, Carefresh, and Carefresh's new program, Carefresh Gives Back. So thank you so much to all the sponsors that made this event possible. And let's get into Pet Fest 2019. Tara, five dollars. You won't even hold up a pickle. Yeah, they're my favorite. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. It's for the boomerang. Oh my god, how do you zoom in? Wait, how do you zoom? Don't put this in, Maddie. If this is your camera, don't fucking put this in. Did you get it? Hell yeah. It's such a it. slow zoom. Makes it dramatic as hell. Uh, is it recording? Yeah. Oh no. Hey Emma, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the morning of Pet Fest. I'm so excited, we're about to go down and finish setting up and it's really, really, really gorgeous outside. I'm gonna show you real quick. It's a gorgeous day. Phoenix is always like, you know, reliably sunny, but whoo. Tyler and I are in the room and no one else is. So we're here, the E has flipped around. <laughs> <laughs> looks good. I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour before everything starts going down. We're not completely set up yet, but we have like two hours to do it. So it should be fine as long as everybody gets here. Here we have meet and greet rooms, which aren't completely done yet, but just like little meet and greet spaces. And then Reptile Rescue is supposed to be there, but they haven't really been around yet. Fan mail station, creator tables, which not everybody's is done. And then that's where the Aquashella booth is going. I'm gonna flip this. Hold on. Hey. Stay there, dude. We have the raffle table. Woo, water. There's water. More water. And this is one of our sponsors. And a photo booth area, which, with props, which isn't like, you know, ready. And then a rat rescue. And then the panel room. And then we've got the room for the larger creators. And that's it for right now. So I will uh, update you when things actually start happening. So see you soon. We are so close to the event being a thing. Aquashell is here setting up.
Hey guys, so it is like 12.40 something right now. And we're about to go, oh, where well, I'm not, I'm modding. The reptile, <laughs> the terrarium setup contest. I don't even know what I'm doing here. And it's gonna be fun. We already did the working animals panel and I don't know if I have any footage of that because my parents were not here. And also, I don't have anyone filming for me. So it's probably on other people's vlogs, maybe, maybe not, but it went really well. So I guess that's what matters. But yeah, it's, it's picking up, it's looking good, it's exciting, and we're gonna have a good time. something like that probably everybody has heard my grandmother had a snake and it got out so it slept in her bed and it sized up to her and was going to eat her that's a myth that's like i feel like everybody every time i say i have snakes everyone's like oh my gosh it's gonna size up and eat you and i was like if my snake is waiting to eat until it gets to the size of me, it's never gonna reach the size of me and it's going to die. You know, snakes are going to grow exponentially, especially without food. My corn snake cannot eat me. My ball python might be able to swallow me eventually. <laughs> Another thing is a lot of people ask me how I could possibly keep snakes and also keep rabbits and birds. Like, how do the snakes not eat my other animals? And the simple answer is that I don't keep them together. I actually got my first snake. I had like, you know, toes and stuff that I used to play with out in the backyard. But I got my first snake when I was, uh, I think, 13, I believe. And I was actually a little bit frightened of snakes. My dad's afraid of snakes. Um, and I was like, I don't know, like, kind of iffy about them. But I still hold it and everything. But I was still worried about being bit. So I got my first snake and it just really showed me that, like, why am I scared of this? Like, this is terrified of me. Why am I scared of this little, little itty bitty noodle? And then I just realized like there's so many more reptiles that exist. And like, I think my dad's a little bit more like okay with them now. Like he would not come in my room, which is kind of a hurt. Okay, so I just got done with my meet and greet. Uh, it's pretty chill now. It's kind of like slowed down. Um, now we're going to do the bird panel. So Tito is coming with me to do the bird panel. And then I don't even really know what we're doing after that. Just kind of like chilling until the end of the event. So yay. Yeah, it's, I don't know. This looks like tar. Right, right, right. Ew, you would love this. Like the aftertaste. That's what I'm saying. It tastes like vomiting. Sounds like dog food. That's fine. Yeah, I thought so. That's what I thought I'm mostly. Tastes like a mix of soy sauce and dog food. Okay guys, so Pet Fest is officially over. We're leaving tomorrow. I will still maybe keep vlogging a little bit, but I'm not sure. But the event has ended. It was a huge success. Thank you to everyone who came. I loved meeting all of you. I'm really exhausted, but it was a lot of fun. And I think it was like much better than last year. So yeah. So thanks. Okay, guys, it is Sunday after Pet Fest. I am obviously looking really gross because I'm super tired and also I feel sick which I was kind of expecting to happen because I always get sick after events like this but it is a really beautiful day in Phoenix and Tyler and I are headed home today so I just wanted to thank everybody for coming out again thank you again to all of our sponsors for making this possible carefresh carefresh gives back flip aquatics elite paw spa and pangea you guys are amazing and we had a really great event and I hope we can do this again next year because it was really fun and I loved meeting all the other creators it was a blast so thanks for watching and I hope we will see you next year. Bye.